it's on for the versus, but most of these settings only affect versus mode. But I just wanted to show this, otherwise it's confusing, and the the run can't be accepted. So now that we do that, let's go ahead and boot up Warzard, aka Red Earth. Uh, this, by the way, this these characters in this game they were featured in a fighting game by Capcom, by uh, that was called um. Uh, Capcom Fighting Jam. I think Capcom Fighting Evolution. I forget which one's the U the foreign seas one, but th those two of the games are the same. And there was a section of Red Earth games. So this really is. I I, I play a lot of fighting games. I, I really do. <laughs> Look at my profile. It's a sickness. But um, this this one really does, in my opinion, stand out as one of the best looking fighting games that's ever been made. Uh, just the you'll see the backgrounds in here everything if you're an artist or you like pixel work this game is you know it doesn't get better than this yeah i was just about to say actually like the backgrounds but also just like the animation and all like the shading it's, it's really beautiful yeah this it just i i the amount of work it's and apparently this game didn't do well so all right real quick my timer's gonna start when i hit the no on password so I'm gonna do a countdown. Uh, three, two, one. Okay. GL. Okay. So this game is actually the versus mode and the story mode are very different. Basically, I'm rescuing the world from monsters. And one of the first monsters that I fight is, is a monster named Hauser. And uh, Hauser, is, as you can tell, is a very big dinosaur. And he actually does a lot of damage, so we do not want to let this dinosaur do too much stuff. Uh, he can be a real problem. And you'll also notice that when I was on the RPG, I'm actually a level 1 soldier right now. This does impact the moves that I have, all the other things um, that I can do in the game. So luckily we beat, we absolutely beat up that dinosaur. I'm sorry if there's any um, dinosaur lovers I've been out there. Don't worry, Hauser's awesome. He's actually in Capcom Fighting Jam. So you see, between rounds, we get to level up, and then we'll go to the next area to make sure that we can save it from the... Basically, monsters have completely taken over this world of Red Earth, and um, Leo is kind of destined to to save it. He's he's actually kind of like a main character in this game. So now to another system I get to introduce. Um, you'll see below my health bar, I have... Um, I have these orbs. Well, these orbs... Oh, wow. Oni is being really nice. Uh, Kongo is Kongo is a really uh, kind of a bully character. He's got a lot of extra health. Oh no, slight mistakes. He has auto ar armor when he blinks into the red mode, so I'm trying to keep far away. Luckily, uh, the amount of health I've lost right now, if I can clear this round a little bit smoother, I will recover all that health that I've lost. So it is not the end of the world. I don't want to use all my orbs, so you, I can have a maximum of three orbs, and right now I've set it to ice. So the orbs, what they do is if I do um, uh, quarter circle back twice, which is like kind of half circle on doing, kind of think of like a, a opposite Hadoken twice, and then press three punch buttons, I can then summon um, magic abilities. In this game, it has all the elements, so it's ice, fire, uh, not some are obviously aren't elements, but um, you know, dirt, poison, meter. Uh... All right, Sacramento is pretty fun. Uh, this is a. I pretty much the person who did most of the running for this game is me. Um, but we've had a lot of runners try and um, figure out, uh, especially uh, recently, like Geb and uh, Mr. Orange and a, a couple of other runners overseas trying to basically break the game and. Um, one, one reason uh, in this fight it's going to go so funny is that basically my standing medium kick has uh, advantage on it. So this is still a standard fighting game where it has um, light punch, medium punch, he heavy punch, uh, light, light kick, medium kick, heavy kick. But because it was Capcom's first CPS3 game, it wasn't, the balance necessarily wasn't perfect. So Leo actually has some of the best um, normal moves in the game. And what that allows, what that allows to happen is, um, he basically has priority on certain attacks. Okay. Now we're at a bonus stage. We just have to basically beat up this uh, 
this bearded man. <laughs> now, is this a game you've ever... You ever go into, like, an arcade and just find this machine and just go off? Like... Um, this game is getting more and more rare. Uh, part of the problem is that a lot of the CPS3 games, uh, they're breaking down. Um, so finding a copy of this game that actually would run well is pretty difficult. But wow, when yeah. this game came out, yeah, when this game came out, um, there was a password system. So basically people were encouraged to play versus and the arcade mode because there's a maximum of 38 levels in the game. And so I can only imagine what this game was like, you know, uh, playing. I, unfortunately, I wasn't playing at, in the arcade at that time. But I can only imagine it must have been awesome because that's, you know, there was no internet or guides. So you pretty much, you would have to, you know, share codes or it would be a big secret. And if you probably saw someone who was level 38, you knew, you knew they put a lot of quarters in this game. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. It's very much the same energy as, like, Playground, having to tell people, like, fake cheat codes and stuff, because we didn't really right, right. know how to use <laughs> yeah. the internet. <laughs> That's awesome. I've never really considered the arcade game speedrunning community. Yeah, it's not, it's not a huge community here. Um, a lot of history in Japan is that um, you, you would think that, like, speedrunning and high scores would be really shared but a lot of it's kept really really secret um a lot of videos are what's the word people just they're worried that if they show the strategy or go 100 percent that someone's going to copy them and do them better i'm i don't have that same sentiment if someone else is better at this you know wants to get better at this game than me and uses my strategy i'm i'm super excited about it but it, it comes from the older generation um usually the i would say people who are in their 40s and 50s have this very um, almost kind of resentment about um, showing like online strats and things like that. They do not want to share any information. You know, it, they, a lot of um, and you're wondering, well, how do you prove if you did a run? But back in the day, it was you would go to an arcade, and the owner of the arcade would basically sign off that you you did the run. So no video evidence uh, was was allowed. It's a it's definitely a heated <laughs> argument. I mean. I, I I think sharing is caring, but you know. Arcade managers are the original SRC moderators. All right, so we actually picked up a little life in this fight. Um, Luan can be a little bit annoying. She can fly actually all the way to the top of the screen. Um, it's it's very annoying. But the you saw that all I did in this fight was uh, standing medium. And standing medium, uh, jumping medium attack has so much priority and reach that Luan, if you time it right, you can actually uh, instantly jump with that attack and the enemy can't do anything. I haven't explained like frame advantage or anything in this game, but um, basically some attacks have, um, you, you think of like frames as like part of a, a part of an animation. So you have frames of animation for a character. Uh, it's, it's all, it, not just in fighting games, it's pretty much in any game. Um, you know, frame perfect, but uh, in fighting games, we might not get the one point clear. I'm getting trolled a little. There's uh, GG has two forms, a blue form and a red form, and unfortunately, the the, the red form is extra trolly, and um, he's he's this, this little skeleton's not wanting to switch to the His blue form. There we go. Amazing. Are you really going to do this to me, GG? Oh, okay. Not the worst thing. If we use a coin, uh, I can still get. Uh, I can still get record. Sorry, no one coin clear today. This <laughs> game is extremely difficult, by the way. Um, I know I, I, I'm trying to do the best I can on commentary, but it it, it is um, very... Uh, frames are very important. Um, there's a lot of techniques like uh, instant auto-guarding or in, uh, you know super jumping. Um, and basically, uh, Leo is so strong. Back to why he's so strong is that like my standing medium kick is actually plus so even though my animation still likes it should be longer i can actually press uh, input the button to do my kick again before the enemy can actually do their attack so basically i'm very 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 um i have a very very fast attack up close so the only reason it's not an infinite is that there's pushback so 
Oh my gosh, I'm getting actually trolled um, <laughs> by the spikes. <laughs> No! <laughs> you have to basically, you, you have to super jump here, there we go. And just break all the mask. And if I do this fast enough, I think I missed the mark, but I can, um... All right, all right. Calm down. Uh, this is making Indiana Jones look like a, look like a chump. Right, Rest assured <laughs> that uh, everything that you're saying is harder than it looks already looks incredibly hard. <laughs> Yeah, so we, if we clear that really, really fast, the last trap would come, and it basically slams in the middle of the room, so you have to dash out uh, in about one less than one second. I think you have, you know, like, yeah, maybe like 20 frames to dash out of the, out of the way. This is the hardest boss in the game, 100%. Um, I'm not going to say his name, because I don't know if it's appropriate. I wonder if Capcom knew that now, but uh, he's, a, he's a bad dude. Oh my god. Um, <laughs> sure, this is it's an older game, so you know. But yeah, he's definitely uh, not playing around. Uh, one of the things he has when he takes off his cape now, uh, he can explode his body, and when he explodes his body, the parts will then come back to him. So you can take damage if you're near him, and whatever you basically you will take chip damage 100 percent against his boss. Um, it's it's a little frightening. And as you see, he has an incredible standing attack. Uh, luckily, I can crouch some of his other projectiles. He has a mirror move. Uh, if he throws out a mirror, um, I do not want to get hit by that. It's going to be an instant KO. I think I should be able to land this. So, yeah. There is a follow-up attack if I, I'm able to land. All right, I got hit by the mirror, unfortunately. And that would be the second death. Uh-oh. Yeah. Now, I gotta know, are you actually putting coins into this machine right now? I, I know, I have a little switch on the bottom. I'm just ah. flipping the switch. <laughs> I'm not spending quarters in my own house. So. <laughs> <laughs> that would, I, although that would be pretty funny if I had like an actual pile of quarters. I just, I, I I think, just imagine, I just imagine yeah. you slipping a quarter in and then at the end of every play session just open the little door and take them all out again. Yeah. If I if, now in the future when uh, Corona is not a problem, I said COVID. Sorry, we say Corona here in Japan. Um, if uh, if if I'm able to come back and run, I would love to run some games live in arcade. It was actually I already got permissions, but unfortunately um, I had to. Ah, really, you're doing mirror right when I'm jumping up. Okay, that was cheap. Oh, he left himself wide open, so this might be the end. Again, everything this boss does chips, so I don't have much time to like think or react. Yeah. Um, and um, unfortunately, the patterns... Another thing in this game is it's knowing about what moves to use, and also there's different patterns. And I'm playing on easy mode. I thought I would have a better... A better uh, a lot well could do a world record on easy mode but unfortunately the pattern is a little bit different for this boss yeah that guy's brutal no. he's disgusting i mean honestly <laughs> <laughs> but his, his model looks so good just like the the like mech gg or whoever you just fought before i mean like they look <laughs> real like these i hope these artists got paid enough i yeah, i always wonder that because this was after this I mean, of course, Capcom made Third Strike and JoJo's Bizarre Adventure after this. Those are the only um, other CPS3. And then they discontinued um, the CPS3 arcade unit after. So there's only six games. Um, and those six games are this game, uh, the two JoJo games, JoJo's Adventure, and um, then the uh, Street Fighter 3, uh, New Generation, Second Impact, and Third Strike. And then after that, they just said, well, no more. Wow. So it really is, uh, it really is the uh, the last of its own. Um, it's kind of, so Valdol is a pretty a pretty difficult fight, but again he kind of gets exposed with the jumping medium attack. And I also on the next boss when he this is just the first form of him. This isn't even my final form, you know. Like, <laughs> <laughs> he gets he gets even bigger, and basically becomes a super brain that I'm going to have to. Um, be a little bit patient. I might be quiet because I'm going to basically try and do um, a downward, downward heart attack and hope that I can react well to his teleports. Um, but the dragons are the most difficult thing in this because the dragons can 
pick you up and um, one hit KO you. Oh my and God. Valda also has a, a, an, uh, an attack where he can turn you into a character. And for my character, he turns me into a little lion mouse. And unfortunately, um, then it becomes a a weird game of uh, well, cat and mouse, where I'm running away <laughs> trying not to get hit. And being far away in this fight is is the worst. I see. Right, that yeah, was what, you really want to like get up close and almost yeah, I like, get stun lock him. All right. Unfortunately, I get trapped. You get to see it. So I'm gonna. I can jump over this perfectly, or the dragons will troll me. Oh my gosh, it's so cute though. Oh no. Oh no. Man, this is this is brutal. Wait, wait, three three coins. There is nothing easy about this easy mode. Yeah. No, the easy mode isn't easy. It's just the AI no, the AI patterns are a little bit um, a little bit nicer. Um, I should have stuck the normal mode. That's what I did out uh, the previous marathon. Uh, speedy fist. I see. So even if it's more difficult, it's it's at least like attack patterns you're more familiar with. Yeah, it's it's attack patterns I'm more familiar with. But I wanted to see. Uh, I put a lot of effort into. Uh, running this game, so I wanted to see if uh, perhaps. Um, all right, that's time. We got the slam on. Fifteen, fifteen. Actually, that's still a really decent time for this game. Wow. Uh, even with all the coins. <laughs> so, uh, the average. I think I wrote down my average was my uh, thirty-five minutes or twenty-five minutes for this. Yeah. So I'm, I should be finishing way ahead. Let's go. No, no kidding. I when you said it was time, I was like, oh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, so we, we saved this world, but, um, you know, Valdal unfortunately changed it forever by summoning the monsters. And um, Leo's going to go back to being a hero. But I, I'm really glad I got to show, uh, show this off and, and partake, participate in this marathon. Um, I think the, the uh, charity is Take This, which is for mental health. And um, I think that's a, another great cause. I, I, I looked it up right before I started, and I'm... I think um, if you know, even like a few dollars, if you guys can donate, sounds like a, a really fantastic cause, especially for a lot of us gamers who are cooped up inside. Or I'm sure there's people we know who are always struggling with um, many different mental issues. Um, I will say that um, you know uh, the speedrun community has been absolutely fantastic, um, especially during COVID. I, I've become so close with friends and. Um, it's just it's fantastic to be able to talk to people overseas um, who love love speedrunning, love fighting. I don't just speedrun fighting games, but I speedrun um, RPGs and other stuff. So um, I just I, I can't thank everyone enough, and I can't thank um, the RPG Valkyries enough for uh, letting me uh, participate. Uh, it, it, you know, I'm I'm, th I'm very thankful, and I think it's a great cause. Absolutely. So glad you were able to be here to show off this epic game. And in fact, you're up next with another one, aren't you? I am, yes. Another fighting game. Today's fighting game day. I, I'm not... You guys are in for... for they're all really... Um, they're really beautiful games. Well, the Can next we one, might there it? might be some words. <laughs> all right. Well, we shall see. Um, I'll, I suppose I'll let you get going to set up the next one. Okay. <laughs> 